I'm Kimberly with Go Indie, and today we're going to be working with the Sedona food dehydrator from TriBest and making some amazing recipes and showing you how awesome it is. The first recipe we're going to do was developed by Jenny Ross, the executive chef of 118 Degrees in Costa Mesa, California. It's a raw restaurant. These are raw cookies. They're awesome. They're called Sweet Sedonas. The first things we need, we're using cashews. You could also use macadamia nuts, um, agave nectar. You could use honey. Cinnamon, sea salt, a little bit of nutmeg. And then for garnish, we're going to use coconut. First thing to do is to throw our cashews into the food processor. We're also going to put the cinnamon, the sea salt, and just a teeny, teeny bit of nutmeg. And the next part is to pulse this in the food processor. You want to be careful that you don't create a nut butter, so watch the texture, so it's just going to become like a cookie meal. Sorry, it's noisy. You're then going to add the sweetener through the chute as you are processing it. This then should be the consistency of a dough, and you can see it is. Then what we want to do, take this out of the food processor. Scoop it into a bowl so it's easier to work with. You don't have to worry about the blade. And then next is forming the cookies. We're going to roll them into balls and then we will oops, um, roll them into the coconut. It's a little bit of garnish, a little bit of extra flavor. It's kind of delicious. Boop. Okay, here's the fun part where we get to see all the amazing features of the Sedona. First, we're going to turn it on. It has a power switch. This is pretty unique to dehydrators. A lot of them just have um, a plug, and you risk damaging your unit by pulling the plug in and out to get it to turn on and on. We just flip the power switch. We want to be using Fahrenheit. It's got a Fahrenheit or Celsius option. For this recipe, it's going to go up to 115 degrees. Blinking means it's ready to set. Go. There we go. And then push it again. That's your timer option. We're setting this for 12 hours. We could have done it for any number of hours. This is our tray display. Um, the Sedona is awesome in that it has two, dual fan technology, so you could use the whole thing, all nine trays, or you could just use five up top or four below. And there's this divider, which I already have in here, which divides up the space um, for maximum efficiency. And then I'm gonna load it up. Place our cookies in here. Since I have extra space in the upper compartment, um, extra tray space, I'm going to make a tray of dried apples because they're so delicious and they're wonderful to have around a snack on and it's so easy. Um, I'm just putting apples on the tray, giving some space all around them, put them in. Now this little light is blinking after the timer. This tells me that it's actually on and running. This one here next to the temperature shows me that it's the top part of it. It shows me that just the top compartment is running right now. So quiet, you might forget if you didn't see the blinking lights. They're done, ready, taste them. Fabulous texture. Completely delicious, such a good treat. Totally raw food. The recipe is in the manual that comes with the machine. Brilliant. Um, also though, we have our apple chips, which are equally delicious, wonderful texture, concentrated fruit flavor. Yum! I'm Kimberly with Go Indie, and today we're going to be working with the Sedona food dehydrator from TriBest and making some amazing recipes and showing you how awesome it is. The first recipe we're going to do was developed by Jenny Ross, the executive chef of 118 Degrees in Costa Mesa, California. It's a raw restaurant. These are raw cookies. They're awesome. They're called Sweet Sedonas. The first things we need, we're using cashews.